<laughs> huh. I have an idea. Ha ha ha. This Jazza guy is so funny. Huh? Who's there? I need you to sign here, sir. Hello humans of the universe, here's villains and everything in between. I'm La Pokemon, and today we're going to be talking about DVDs, or Blu-rays. So I was watching Blonde and Well, it's been so too long to make a review, so I'll just say this. Anna de Adamas did some great acting, and the film was pretty sad. So it's okay. Next, why are you here? Why are we still here? Right, because I'm making a custom Blu-ray. So how are we going to do this? Step one, get Blonde. Now I'm not going to tell you how I got it. What? Stop, they can't see that. That's what just... Get it off screen. Anyways, just suppress that. Let's get it going. So now that we have the movie, through simple means, <laughs> how do we put it on a DVD? Burn, burn, burn. Well, die. Yes, they deserve to die, and I hope they burn in hell! Yeah, we're just gonna use a burner. I have the Asus one, if I remember, I'll link it below. So the big thing you need to know is that you can't use this burnt disc on a PlayStation 4, just on a Blu-ray. If there is a way to do this, maybe tell me down below, but you can only use it on a Blu-ray player as far as I'm concerned, like mine. I'll link one of these down below as well, if you're interested. So now that we have the film, we need the look. Look! At what? What do you mean at what? I said look! Of the DVD and the case. So I have a printer, and lucky for me, it prints on discs. Well, these discs. I'll try and remember it. Link everything I use down below. Oh, and the printer, the Epson. Yes, that's all I remember. It's the Epson 7 million. The case, I don't have an empty Blu-ray case, and I figured that if it, it would be cool if the Blu-ray case was red. Now, I live in a place where you can't get empty red cases delivered from Amazon, just Britain. So I moved to Britain, and then I ordered... <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I bought Black Widow because at the time it was the cheapest Blu-ray case. Now it's turning red, so I wish I had waited a little longer. But here we are. Also, you could probably just get one on uh, on eBay. The, there's a Terminator one that's like on there for five bucks. Probably be better than what I did. So now for the box art. Okay, attempt two. So Google Docs isn't the correct size of a paper. I learned that lesson the hard way. I think it's something to, to do with like UI scaling and my monitor not being the right size for it maybe. It's like a 32 inch monitor. I think that messed up with the way that the paper looked, I don't know. So now that I learned that lesson the hard way, skip. So now we need this. Um, so my printer can only print double sided when it's on a scan thing, so you might be wondering what I did. Well I just used the same paper twice. I'm not gonna lie to you, I was pretty excited when it worked. My math is great. I did it perfectly first try. It was very exciting. <laughs> I know I'm a nerd, don't need to tell me. Or maybe you thought I was sad. I mean, to each their own. So the reason why I couldn't scan it, by the way, this is future me who didn't realize that I didn't write this. But it's because the paper was too small. It has to be full sized or else it will get stuck in the lines. I'll show some footage of that while I'm talking about this. So I cut it out with my hobby knife because I lost my scissors and my arms are pool noodles. I have no strength and I'm a loser. Wait, why did I just call myself that? A loser, that's not part of the... Moving on. Get in, loser, we're going shopping. Let's do the disc. I wanted to note that Epson DVD printing design software sucks. So I made the disc cover with Pixelar, the sponsor of today's video. <laughs> Just kidding. But I did use it and it worked and looked pretty good. So here's the finale. A pretty custom Blu-ray case and DVD with some flaws, but a generally good look. The disc is probably the best part because it contains the least amount of possible human error. Or I guess error of me. My error. I'm the error. But that's all I guess. Did make a Taylor Swift joke about about the song Antihero where she says that I'm the problem, it's me. But that's all I guess. It plays the movie, it has a Black Widow code, it looks cool. I'll keep this in my collection just because Anna the Animus is a great actress. And this movie had some nice colors, or rather non-colors. It's not the greatest movie ever made. It's constantly pulling me down, but I do believe that this is an Anna the Animus best performance. Her magnum opus, her piece de resistance, and she put a lot of effort into it. And her doggo is the same one as Marilyn Monroe. This film shows all her effort, especially in her voice, because she's Cuban and you can hear 
interested in her accent, so that's cool, I guess. This is goodbye. So as always, stay cool, stay weird, stay you, and I'll catch you next time.